Welcome back to my channel. Today I did a get ready with me for you guys on this really radiant, glowy, luminous look. And today I am so excited because this video is being sponsored by Glam Glow, which is one of my all-time favorite skincare brands. So a huge thank you to them and also you guys for making this opportunity possible. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this glowy skin look with Glam Glow products, including their first ever highlighter palette, which is is absolutely stunning and I'm gonna talk all about it today I'm also gonna be discussing the glam glow glow setter makeup setting spray and their glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer so before we get started be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also comment down below your thoughts on the look and just the video in general I love reading your comments also be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and press that notification bell to be notified every single time I post but without further ado if you want to see how I achieved this look look then keep on watching okay guys so we're gonna get ready to hop right into it so the first product I'm gonna be using today is the glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer and this one is in the shade nude glow of course glam glow always coming through with the packaging I'm actually going to go ahead and push my hair back get it out of the way so opening this up, so here is exactly what the product looks like. This is super luminous and I'm just going to go ahead and take some and I'm mainly going to focus this on the high points of my face. And as you can see, it gives a beautiful, glowy, radiant look. The consistency of this is, I think, the perfect medium. It is a little bit thick, but I personally love that in my moisturizers because when it's thick, I feel like it really hydrates the skin. But this is going to give us a really radiant, dewy, glowy look for summer and just in general and even though it is on the thicker side it is really lightweight so we are going to be definitely glowing today honey so now i'm going to continue the rest of the face and i'm going to go in with my foundation for today and today i'm mainly going to be focusing on the summer dewy glowy skin for today's foundation i'm going in with my la girl pro glow foundation it's super luminous and it's going to really go with that glowy look that we're trying to go for today and that glam glow moisturizer underneath is really making the skin feel hydrated and fresh and ready to go so i'm just gonna go for some natural glam today really focusing again on that glowy dewy skin look and then I'm gonna go for some big, nice, fluffy lashes. Let me know how you guys like this setup. This is just the plain wall. Um, it might be less distracting for some of you. I'm also planning on filming in the original setup that I first used when I moved here, which is directly in front of my bed. Instead of by the window, you get the side view of the bed. I don't really know, just playing around. Today's Get Ready With Me is going to be a little bit more like straight to the point instead of chit chatty. So speaking of not chit chatting, I'm going to go do my brows and I will be right back. So speaking of Too Faced, I'm sure you guys have heard that they recently came out with their new Born This Way concealers and you guys know how I feel about my shade tape. Shade tape has been my ride or die. But first of all, the comparison of size. And second of all, I'm going to say this. I'm thinking of doing like a showdown video, like Battle of the Concealers. So let me know if you guys would be interested. But this is the first concealer that I've ever tried that I've actually given a chance. That I've actually been like, hmm, okay, like this is going somewhere. Because usually I'm like, nope, shape tape. But yeah, so right now I'm using the shade Vanilla just because... It's a little bit lighter and I like to use it to highlight and I'm putting this underneath my eyes and I also carved out my brows with this. So now I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all out. All I gotta say is concealer makes the world of difference. With brows, oh, let me tell you, I thought today was gonna be a bad brow day, but then I used my concealer and saved them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face and we're gonna move on 
to the rest. And I know you might be thinking, Adiel, we want a radiant, glowy, dewy look. And that is true. But especially in the summer, you want to make sure to set your foundation and anything you have in place because you don't want it to slip and slide and move around all day. We're going to go back in with more products later to really bring back that radiance. So I'm just going to be taking my Hula Bronzer just to bronze up the skin. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add color. I've been loving blush lately for a while actually, but especially for the summer just because it adds that flush and looks radiant and sun-kissed. Okay, so now I have my blush and bronzer on, but we are now going to be focusing on the star of the show here, okay? So this is one of Glam Glow's newest products. This is the Glam Glow Glow Powder Highlighting Palette. So the cool thing about this palette is that it is infused with hyaluronic acid. So first of all, not only is this packaging freaking sick, the hot pink, and it just looks... This reminds me of like Polly Pocket. I love it. This is going to, of course, highlight and give you that radiant glow. It's going to enhance and it's also going to soften your skin. And because of the hyaluronic acid, it's really going to help give you that nice radiant lit from within look. And it's going to really smooth out your skin. So opening this beauty up, we have three shades that are going to be perfect for every single skin tone. We have Pearl Glow, Nude Glow, and Sun Glow. And today, I think I'm going to take a little bit of Pearl and Nude Glow just on my cheek cheekbone so first taking pearl glow putting that on the tip of my nose and already we are glowing and I'm gonna start to mix them together Woo! look at that oh my stunning you're literally glowing to the gods also going to be taking some of this on my inner corner gonna give us that nice bright pop and also on the brow bone I'm gonna do some blending action real quick and dust all the excess powder away but before I move on with my eyes and everything I'm actually going to be setting my skin with the glam glow glow setter makeup setting spray it comes in this cute pink little bottle which I'm obsessed with this is a super fine mist. This is one of the finest mists that I own, but it feels so refreshing and nice. And it doesn't feel overpowering, if you know what I mean. Like some mists are like boom, 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 and like you're soaked. But this one really renews that glow to the skin, the radiance, it smells amazing, and it takes away like the powder finish. Also going to go ahead, spray on my cheeks, and take our glow palette. Do a little bit more enhancing. So now since I have like this pink kind of look, I'm gonna take some of my baby love blush that is actually ruined, but it's okay because I have another one. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this in the crease just so we have like a rosy undertone peeping through. I don't want a super dramatic eye, but I just want that rosiness coming through and tying in with the entire face look just so it's a little bit different and this is definitely going to tie in with the lip that i'm going to use today and now today i want to try out these lashes these are the cocoa lashes in baby g i've never tried them before let's see how they look on the eyes though Ooh, yes so i'm just going to cut the tiniest bit off on this eye and then i'm just going to glue these on and I will be right back. Okay, so I got the lashes on. I think they look good. I'm kind of like, you know when you feel like one eye looks different than the other? That's how I kind of feel right now. I'm gonna roll with it. The lippy I'm gonna use today is the V Beauty Store Matte Liquid Lipstick in Sweetheart. I love this so much. I wore it the other day. And I love the formula and I love the color, so... Like guys, look at this color. I'm obsessed, I'm living. So this highlighting powder does clean to smooth your skin as well as soften it and even your skin tone and I definitely do agree. Especially I do have a scar right here which is normally I do highlight that area and I definitely do notice that it looks smooth and even. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face one more time. 
So that is it for this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel so radiant and glowy and ready to take on my day. Thanks again to Glam Glow for sponsoring this video and make sure you check out all the Glam Glow goodies. Everything will be in the description down below for you guys. I gotta head out the door now, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Thank you.